Hey guys, welcome to the Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and I'm back with another bang on video where I'm going to discuss about the my plan to become an automation tester with a proper roadmap. See, what are the problem that you are facing? Why you are not able to become an automation tester? Right? You have few doubts. Let me tell you what are the doubts there. You have doubts like, okay, what are the different topics I have to learn? What should be the action plan? How much duration it is required to become an automation tester? And how much practice I need to do for a programming language to become an automation tester? Right? So guys, when I have started right when I have started I had like one years of experience in manual testing I had the similar doubts where I was unclear about these three important things right which is where do I have to do a practice what are the different topics and how and where I should learn okay so in this video I'm gonna basically give you all the information make sure you're watching this video with 1.5x or 1.2x so that you cover and let's discuss about how I was able to switch from the automation testing and how you can do it too all right so let's get started. You have to follow this, right? This is a exact roadmap that I have prepared with my 11 years of experience, right? This contains every topic that is you should basically know to become an automation tester. The, there may be a case where few of the topics which are not required for you, but trust me, I recommend that yes, if you are want to become an automation tester, you should learn at least all the topics. Okay, let's discuss with the example. Most important thing is your programming language. Guys, now you will have this doubt. Pramod, I'm a fresher. I have a very little knowledge of programming or I'm a manual tester. I don't have a programming language. Guys, programming language is important. You have to learn it. See, even I was started, right? I was uh, not confident that I will able to do it. See, with my 11 years of experience, I'm going to give you a few points, two important points. First thing, is if you are comfortable in the basic programming which is core java and some collection framework i'm just specifically talking about the java as of now you can relate this with the python as well as the javascript also right so if you are comfortable with core java which is basics of programming language if you do enough practice with two to three months definitely you will be able to get it right initially it is a problem i understand it's very difficult to understand initially the programming language you will feel that i'm not able to grab the concepts but trust me after some times, everything will be fine. Because in automation testing, what I have seen with my 11 years, right? You have to basically create test scripts, something called as test scripts. And those you can create when you know how the well structure your framework is already available. Okay, so yes, you can do that. So my answer to this, yes, many students have already done it. And yes, you can do that. So learn Core Java, where we have different concepts related to it, right? In Core Java, we have like how data types uh, are there, for loops, in loops and other things. Right. After that, what you need to do is you need to move towards the Java Advance, where you will learn basically how file system works, collection frameworks, threadings, like three important, important concepts. Then immediately move towards the Selenium. Right. So in Selenium, we have like two important things where we have a basic Selenium, we have advanced Selenium. In basic Selenium, you will learn different concepts as well as different commands which are already available to do the web automation testing. We call it UI testing. Right. In the advanced, we have to learn about the different frames, how to handle frames, how to work with the different experts, right? Other things and in the advance also, you will create your own automation framework. So that you have to do. Sit down on Saturday or Sunday and create your own automation frameworks. As a manual tester, you can do it with your job. As a fresher, you have enough time, you can do it anytime. If you are from a known IT background, you want to become an automation tester also or a software tester, yes, you can do the similar things, right? So you have to prepare the automation framework, right? So Selenium grade, you have to know advanced framework, Selenium basic concepts, introduction to Selenium and sql queries now people ask me promote sql queries do i have to know all the queries do i have to know basics or overview i think overview is fine just go with the my sql default just know about the different joints as well as the different update delete all these select selection classes and you are good to go trust me you are good to go manual testing concepts also you have to know i've created multiple videos you can go through okay now important points guys please don't be afraid that you are learning a new programming language probably you will not able to do it trust me you will be this is a action plan with almost like three four months plan this is my four month plan that i have followed personally to become an automation tester and you can do it too trust me you can do it too i'm just motivating you i have done it multiple students of mine i have also done it i think you can also do it. yes you are listening please follow up right there is uh, another myth that probably people have that we have to use data structure and algorithm heavy data structure and algorithm no in automation testing you rarely use heavy data structure and algorithms you will use basics i think collection frameworks is enough most of the time and you're good to go with that right basic of algorithm that you should know but yeah it will work fine 
After that, you have to know about the advanced concept. Whenever you are ready with your automation framework, you have to know about the scalability, maintainability, right? You will go with your practical framework that we have covered multiple times, right? Then you will learn about the CACD stuff, for example, DevOps stuff that a software tester should know, like GitHub, GitHub Actions, right? Page object patterns that you will include in your automation framework. You can include BDD also, which is behavior and event development, like Cucumber also in your automation framework already that we are going to do. And now you have to start preparing for your interviews right go with any interview for example if you have a list of interview questions that i have shared multiple times you can go with and now it's a time for you to start preparing right the plan that i am going to discuss with the roadmap you can basically print it out and put it into your desk or somewhere trust me it will work fine and it will be a game changer for you if you print it out and put it into your desk so that every time it is reminding yes i want to become an automation tester right this is how i have done it and trust me it works many of my, of my students are already doing it and they have done it it works very well, right? Now you will ask me, Pramod, why should I become an automation tester? I'm happy with the manual testing. It's up to you guys. If you want to get a higher salary, get a new job, get more opportunity, meet some awesome people, you should become an automation tester that I really, really think. And this is what I believe. Guys, if you want to basically follow up this um, roadmap, I am launching my course also on this, right? Job ready, automation tester blueprint. If you want to get enrolled, please make sure you visit this link sz.li slash become and avail the discount also. All right. I'll see you in the live classes and please follow this roadmap. If you think this is a valuable information, let me know in the comment uh, with the part two, where I will try to create a more elaborated way to give you more topics on this. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.